welcome back to my channel so for today's video i've got a two-day vlog for you guys um i would normally be uploading on wednesday at 6 p.m but because it was a two-day vlog i wanted to vlog for an extra day so i uploaded it on thursday instead but yeah i hope you guys enjoy it it's something a little bit different um, i'm gonna really try and pick up vlogging it again so if you guys want to see some more let me know but yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video so guys we are at brown and granddad's house yo 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 <laughs> this is scrooge over I'm here currently um Chair bound. Do you not want to sit in the sun? No. Really? Because I'd be sweating. I would show you Jess, but rather than sat in a swim costume, she sat in a bra and pants <laughs> with some weird thing on her head. Anyway, it's really, really hot. The dogs are all here. They literally just scared the life out of Ernie. Come on! He's over there, look. Ernie! Come on, then, boy! Honestly, the gardens are massive, so I'm worried about him getting lost. There's actually more dogs than humans, so you've got Ernie. Mav, Tallulah, who's the OG, T-Dog, you're the OG. Any boy, what you got? <gasps> He's had his hair cut as well, he looks so cute. Cheese. What are you making me then? Cheese. Well, why is that cheese so cheese. big? Cheese. Everyone say, cheese. Oh my God. Just cheese and butter, please. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Do you like Marmite, Hayley? Love Marmite. Right, have you been to Starbucks and had the cheese and Marmite forget? No, because I can't eat fridge. Oh yeah. So more dogs. Harley, T Dog, Cooper, Howie, little Mavs. I. <laughs> Mavs. Oh. <laughs> Any. Got cheese roll. Mmm. Gonna go and eat this. It's honestly so hot today. Right, we're just sunbathing while Brandon's sat in the shade. I think we're gonna go in the hot tub later, and then I think Holly's gonna come, and then we're gonna have a barbecue. What? Then we have barbecue. Today we have five pet Tesco's, two minted lamb leg steaks. Mm. Leg steaks, leg steaks. Oh my god. What else have we got? We've got chicken, we've got chicken steaks. Yeah, marinated. Then we've got chicken breast. Then we've got sausages, sausages. gluten free sausages, burgers, burgers, minted lamb, pasta. And then we're all going in the hot tub later, guys. Well, Holly's not, and Natalie's not because they didn't bring their swim star. Fire pit. Asian steaks are honestly the absolute best. They taste so good. Brandon cooks these all the time. We're just chilling now. Holly and Natalie are here. I'll show you them in a sec. But we just love it here. We actually had um, Holly's 16th birthday here. If you remember, we had like all the balloons here and she had like her big teepee. This is actually where it was. So Brandon's still sat in the same position that he's been in literally all day. I have moved, been up to the kitchen. I went in. Well done. Been up to the kitchen, get some food. Doritos. And no, he's back here again. You need some more ice, don't you? I took a walk. You need to ice your knee again. Yes, please. Got the halloumi going on the barbecue, guys. Halloumi on the barbecue, you just can't beat it. It's so good. But you have to eat it straight away, otherwise it goes cold and chewy. That looks banging, hey. Thank you, thank you. What are they on the end? The um, minted lamb steaks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that you showed earlier. Lovely. Yeah. How long yeah. till that's done? 15 minutes. Another 15? Yes. <laughs> The more you talk, the longer it takes. Oh, and six times. Right, some of the food's off. Chicken, burgers, got loads of pasta and pizza and that. Mm. How many have you had now? Three. Halloumi's on. Oh my god. You can't beat a summer barbecue. And you can't. You literally can't. And it's so easy as well. Oh, I speak for yourself. <laughs> How do you know what ones are gluten free? These three front ones. Oh, they look the same. They don't. Come on. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. You put your sunglasses on like you're yeah, Kim K. Hi, hi. <laughs> like they're doing Love Island when they wake up in the morning. Yeah, but that actually, I think it is actually really bright. It is, because they just turn the lights on. No photos. <laughs> you nearly got the camera out of my hand. No Come and say hi to the vlog. Don't be rude. No. Not allowed. A taste test. Do a taste test. It's going to be really hot though. Don't eat it yet. You're burning your tongue. <laughs> no, let it burn it. Some shutting up. <laughs> Out of ten? Nine. Oh, thanks. <laughs> what was, where's the last point gone? Not enough seasoning. You don't season halloumi. It's salty enough. Guys, we've got pasta, burger, oh, chicken, pizza. What you got? <laughs> Bit of everything. Halloumi, mm -hmm. chicken, lamb, potato, pasta. <laughs> Oh, 
guys, watch this with all the dogs. Oh, it's called Hungry. Hungry Hippos! What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> guys, we're throwing the ball for the dogs. Why? I can't do it. I do it the time. Do it. Literally, Ernie's the quickest one every time. Ernie, boy, bring the ball back. Come He's on. Both, look. Come on. He gets a head start, look. He's yeah. so clever. Drop. No, let go then. Wait. He doesn't want Pepper to have it, look. I'm not going to give it. Get off. Oi. <laughs> I'm not going to get the. Look, look at him. Look, look. Careful of your wrist, please. Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> Brandon! He can't see it, he can't see it. Three hours later. Right guys. Dilemma. Oh my goodness. We are on our way back from Brandon's granddad's house and... We've had a bit of a mare, where do we even start? We haven't had a mare, Holly has. So yeah, we were driving obviously separately to Holly and Natalie. Holly and Natalie drove up to meet us earlier, like later on. And we were all driving back and like we were nearly home and Holly rings us and goes, We've got a flat tire, it's literally smoking and the whole tire is literally Puncher. gone. So they are now on a hard shoulder, nearly home, but basically Just to, before a junction. Yeah, like Brandon's granddad's house is quite far out, so it's all a fifty road and you it's basically it goes on for about twenty five. It's the minutes, motorway, it? but the motorway's down to a fifty. But like because it's down to a fifty, it's just like the four lane motorway down to two at mm. 50 miles an hour and you can't come off yeah. until the like the only come off point and yeah. to do to get to where they are so they're just before a junction to come off on a motorway but obviously the other way so yeah. we work granddad's they're here so now we're good waiting for my dad because he's been on a train so we're going to pick him up then we've got to go all the way back to them but to get to them it's gonna take an you hour. can't just come off at the junction where they are and go back down to them you gotta go all the way up that 50 road and all the, and way, all back. the way back down just to get to them when they're Literally, right next to us it's gonna take us an hour so i'm designated driver because <sighs> mick's been in london and i am um, i can't drive <laughs> i've got to drop brandon off with the dog because you've got the dog as well it'd be unfair to drive the dog for an hour and sit there with the dog like it's just gonna be an absolute nightmare so i'm gonna drop ernie and brandon off and then me and mick are gonna drive and go and get the girls and rescue them what but a nightmare honestly you don't even know if, you if they was a yet. little bit longer like it just had to be a little bit longer well if they could get off the junction they're literally just before the slip road but yeah. the, the tire's smoking so they can't even just drive onto yeah. the onto the slip road so anyway guys mick's about to get off the train so we'll update you guys a bit later on so guys i'm in the car now We've been picked up by Erin. We was on the hard shoulder kind of thing, luckily, because there wasn't actually one before that. And the guy said, this guy pulled up on the hard shoulder next to us and we were like, oh my God, like who is this guy? And it was a recovery van and we managed to get in the back. He made, he dropped us to somewhere local that Erin and my dad could come and get us. So now we're on the way home. My car has been left in a car park. It's good nice when I'm going to see Chloe again. <laughs> but um, hopefully I'll see her soon. Hope she's well. No, Just hopefully she gets the tyre soon. But uh, yeah, that is the update. Thanks Erin for getting us. And uh, yeah, pray for Chloe in the comments. <laughs> so guys, we are back home now. My lips are so dry. They're like really sore. So I've just put loads of Vaseline on. But yeah, we are in bed now. Brandon's here. I just finished watching Love Island. Boring. I am literally I'm obsessed with Paige. I just think she's so nice. And I hope Jax stays with her. Like, I hope he doesn't like break her heart. And I hope he genuinely likes her. But yeah, I want Paige to win. She's my favourite. But yeah. Anyway, I'm off to bed. I'll update you guys in the morning. I've got a few things to do tomorrow. We are nearly on top of our washing because we took loads with us to Brandon's granddad's house. We could dry it all up outside. Um, I've got a few more wash loads to get on tomorrow, but it's going to be a really hot day tomorrow. Um, I'd love going to ride my bike, but yeah. yeah. Stuff happens, eh? There's worse things in the world, babe. I know. But you'll That's be fine. Positive, you'll be fine soon. We'll see you guys in the morning. So guys, it's the morning. I've got these two on my bed now because um, I literally had to wake up this morning early and go and take Brandon's dad to go and sort Holly's car out. So I just got back and I brought Pepper back with me because Pepper's got a haircut today at half one and no one else could take her. So I'm going to take her. Too hot. And for anyone that's out walking their dog in 26 degree heat. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. 
it boils my blood so much i nearly stopped my car yesterday to shout at someone out the window i was so angry oh i can't even talk about it just please do not walk your dog if it's hot they burn their paws and they just can't handle it and it's just ridiculous i don't even understand why you'd want to do that i just leave them at home give them a flipping ice cream honestly anyway i'm gonna get brandon out of bed because He's in a little bit of a dark hole at the minute, aren't you, mate? Because he's because he's hurt his knees. Like, oh, I like, don't want to do anything. So I'm trying to get him up, get him out and about. Yeah, tell him what I did. Bran hurt himself last night because he stood on his foot by accident when he forgot he was injured. It was all right. You had a good sleep, didn't you? Mm. Anyway, I'm going to get him out of bed and I'll update you guys. So, guys, because we've got some really warm weather over the next few days. Me and Brandon are going to go and get, like, a little garden furniture set. We were going to have our garden done, but it's turned out to be, like, really expensive um so we are just gonna get some nice furniture and go and cut the grass and stuff so yeah i'm looking at this one at the range which is actually a really good price 695 pounds and it's like massive and you get the table and everything it's from the range which is such a good price i think so i'm on the phone to the mall to see if they've got it in stock for us to go and get it so fingers crossed so fingers crossed they've got one in stock but i'll keep you all updated but i need to go and measure it in the garden as well but guys i went to home bargain just today so i thought i'd show you a little haul of what i've got for any of you guys that like the homey sort of bits and um, so i picked up a new fabric softener this is the comfort one in the scent apple blossom i've never tried this one before i'm normally a lenore type of gal but i thought i'd give this one a go um i got the febreze unstoppables um fabric refresher normally i go for the i can't remember what scent it is but it's the green one and it smells really good but i thought i'd try this one because i didn't have the other one this is the lavish one um i picked up some the floral wipes just i don't know these are biodegradable but i just picked them up just if like i don't know like i need to just quickly wrap something up but these are the rhubarb and cassis ones you get 70 in there it's quite good um and then i picked up the duck floral moon starter pack with the refill i do actually have a starter pack but i've lost it and um, so i just got another one um but it's like lotus flower and mint so yeah i like these in the toilet so i've got them i also picked up one of these i don't normally like doing these because they're a little bit of a fire hazard but i thought i've got one for my room so i'm just gonna switch it on just for like a couple of hours in the day just to let the scent go out but yeah they i've got mixed reviews on them but i know they give off a really good scent so this one's the febreze miami free revolution plug or something i don't know it comes with the refills and then i bought the exotic bloom lenore refills to go in them so grabbed that i'll let you know how i get on with it um and then i just got some fab fabric softener i got some car air freshness my car holly's got this one in her car and it smells so good it's the crisp cotton and peony it smells so strong and then also these ones which are sugar dusted cherry pink rhubarb and pear and another crisp cotton and peony they are so strong so i think i'm gonna go and get my car clean later and then pop one of these in and yeah that is everything i got oh i also got this because i was like i just want to try it and relive my childhood it's like the bubble gum but it comes as like fluff and then you eat it and it's bubble gum don't ask me why i got it i just felt like i needed to try it and relive my childhood but that is everything i got from home bargains only a little haul normally i do like massive big hauls from home bargains when i used to live in the flat but yeah i didn't i decided i didn't actually need that many cleaning products so i definitely toned it down a bit now but yeah that is everything i've got um we rang the range and they said that it's an online product only so we don't know whether to just order it and let it come for monday because it's such a good price but we really want some garden furniture for the weekend so i don't really know what to do i don't know just hold out till monday or we're gonna go and look at home base and b and q maybe and see what they've got in there um i think we'll probably go and do that anyway but i will keep you guys updated do you like your outfit i chose for you today yeah i swear i had this the other day guys because you find it hard to walk about i like lay out all his clothes in the morning, morning now it saves now. him getting in the wardrobe and that my eyes is to come i cut my finger on the mirror <laughs> Polly's tired last night i got up last night after playing on my ps5 or my computer and because when i sit down it feels kind of normal and i got up took the first step with my left foot and then took a step on my right foot and literally nearly collapsed you forgot about it and then it was hurting for about half an hour like oh best way to look at things is there's always something worse guys we just went into home base i don't have any stock of this egg chair they've only got the display one but 
I really, really like it. So I'm gonna see if they've got it anywhere else. But we looked at all the other garden furniture. They just didn't have any we liked. So we're now gonna go to Curry's and Pets at Home because why not? We love these little shopping trips. Brandon, how's your foot? I've got a shoe in the car for him, but he won't put it off. You're out of breath. It's because it's sunny as well. No, it just aches. I've literally walked from the blooming shop door. <laughs> We've stopped in Nando's, so Brandon's mm -hmm. got a, what did you get? Chicken burger with chips and very nice. And I just got some rice because I wasn't really that hungry at all, so yeah. And then I've got Fanta. Look at the colour difference of that Fanta compared to the ones in Spain. We saw this car. It was a Tiguan, Tiguan R. Mate, it was so banging. Like it's like a four by four, but still like a fast car. Like, I think it's the same speed as my Merc, but obviously a 4x4. Four four. But it was so peng. So we went and had a look at the VW garage just to have a look. Um, but I don't have any in stock and it's literally like a year, year and a half wait, so yeah. But I liked the T-Rocks. I don't like them that much. But why? They just look squashed. Okay. It's not a proper light, 4x4. Four four. But you can get a Tiguan R it's not brand new, can't you? Yeah, he showed us a Tiguan R. It was a nice dolphin grey, it's called. Oh, it was so peng. But, yeah. Yeah, that was in stock, to be fair. A little bit expensive, but it's nice, because like, it's a bigger car and still quick. So guys, we are picking up Pepper up from her dog groomers. <sighs> <laughs> in about 20 minutes so and we're literally five minutes away so i was like we might as well just sit here for like 15 minutes um but i went to the petrol station and got us a for real i haven't had one of these and like since i can't remember like since i filmed the tiktok i think since the trend mm. i got cookies and cream what'd you get vanilla mm. i love vanilla <laughs> i get mine blended thin so guys you just can't drink it and i got brown as regular because it's decent mm. if you get them thick then you can't drink them at all <clears throat> i'll show you guys peps when we pick her up but so guys we just picked pepper up from her groom and we just got her home and noticed that she's got a poorly eye thing is she had so much fur around her face you couldn't see her eyes so it could have probably been there before she went in, into her groom and um, so i just rang the vets and they can see her tomorrow at 3 45 um, but i'm just going to talk to brian's dad and see if She'll go to an emergency vet or not, but I spoke to the dog groomer. She thinks it could either be allergies or like conjunctivitis or something similar. So I'll keep you guys updated. But Ernie is like proper trying to look after her. Like he's really like protective of her. Like keeps licking her, and he never normally does that. So yeah, he definitely knew that something was wrong with her, didn't he? It was so weird. Sorry guys, as I was editing this video, I realised I didn't update you guys on Pepper. But basically, we took her to the vets and she had conjunctivitis. So they've given her some eye drops. And she's not allowed to see Ernie because it's really, really contagious. So fingers crossed in the 10-15 minutes that he saw her, um, that he didn't pick it up. He seems okay at the moment, but I will keep you guys updated. But yeah, she should be um, perfectly fine in like the next few days. So yeah, that is the update on Pepper. So guys, I'm making katsu curry for the night. So I've just covered some chicken in breadcrumbs. And then I'm just making the sauce with some rice. It is literally the Wagamama's katsu curry, like this same make it. It's literally flour, curry powder, turmeric, ginger, coconut milk, garlic, onion, and chicken stock. That is literally it. So I'll show you guys once I've made it. Okay, so this is the sauce we've got going on guys. Rice. And the chicken. I'm gonna sit this so it's like really, really smooth. Yeah, we're nearly done. This is it done, guys. Katsu curry. It doesn't taste like Wagamama's <coughs> that much, but it tastes like a good katsu curry. It's banging. And then Brandon's got his. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this now. So guys, I'm literally filming my intro, outro, and a little clip in the middle, middle all in one go. But it's because I completely forgot to film an intro and outro. And then I just updated you about Peppa. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're enjoying the vlogs, please let me know and I'll make sure to do some more for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to smash a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to turn my post notification bell on so you don't miss any of the videos. Follow me on Instagram and I'll catch you guys with a brand new video on Saturday 6pm. Bye! Thank you.